guys, what's up? It's me, the Elegant Fart, and today I am doing another movie review. That's weird. This time I'm outside again, and uh, today I'm doing a review on the campaign. The campaign, it was pretty funny. Um, obviously, it wasn't, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be that great. I know Zach Galifianak, uh, I, I can't really say his name that well, and Will Ferrell, you know, they're both pretty funny guys, and I like The Hangover, but it was okay. The only thing I didn't like about Zach Galifianak, I, I can't even say his name, character, I'll just, I'll just say, um, Marty, when I'm referring to him. Um, he, he tried too hard to make that voice, you know, with that lisp, that, that certain voice, he tried too hard on that. I don't know, just, like... Like, if you know what I mean, like, if you watch the movie Marty's voice, sometimes it, I, I just felt like he was trying too hard to make it sound funny. And there are some parts where I was just laughing so hard. There was this one scene where, where um, you know, uh, Cam Brady, who's Will Ferrell, Cam Brady and Marty, and they're having a debate. And um, Marty is challenging Cam Brady to recite the um, Holy Prayer. And his, uh, his teleprompter um, is like trying to explain it to him, and he misinterprets it. It's just hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing at that. And there were just so many moments during the movie where just everybody in the theater was cracking up. And some moments were like a little too over the top. Like this one, at this one part, Marty was talking to his family because in the in the movie, Cam Brady is running for a. Uh, congressman or whatever, and basically, you know, he runs unopposed every year, but the, um, Mach Brothers, which is basically a parody of the Koch Brothers, and if you don't know who the Koch Brothers are, just look it up, it's a whole political kind of shit, and I, I actually do want to make political videos, but I, I'm not going to tie that into this review, but, so, it, and the Mach Brothers are basically a evil, you know, global, worldwide corporation, and they're gonna and they're gonna use Marty, and they're gonna control him so that they can. So if Marty wins congressman, they can um, turn the district into a place for where Chinese workers can get cheap waiter. It's just it's just a whole money making scheme thing, whatever. And so when Marty, it, yeah, you know, Marty's gonna finally be, um, you know, he's gonna run for congressman, he's going to challenge Cam Brady, so, yeah, and then just, it's all, the whole movie is just them trying to win, um, congressman, and there's this one scene where Marty's talking with his family, and he says, all right, guys, let's, you know, we're going to be under fire from the media and everything, we need, we need to talk about, I mean, we need to confess what we did wrong, so we don't feel bad about ourselves or whatever, and his kids just say the dumbest, like, the weirdest shit, like, one of them said, um, I, one of them said he let a, he let a goat, uh, ugh, he let a goat lick his penis, and there was this one really funny one where one of the kids said he shoves a firefly up his butthole, so, like, when he farts, it glows, and then his wife says that, like, she get like, I don't know, she gets horny from watching Bob Barker on The Price is Right or something, I don't want to spoil the movie, even though I kind of did spoil one of the funny parts, it's still funny when you watch in theaters. It's still funny than my voice. But, um, yeah, and also, um, just lots of really funny moments. And there was even a, a nipple slip. If you're into nice tits, this one hot girl, she did have a nipple slip in the movie. And it was supposed to be funny. Like, she was just having a casual conversation and her nipple was popping out of her shirt. Um, so kind of awkward moment when I'm in the theater with my parents, but, because I'm, I'm not 18, you know, but, you know, so, great movie, three stars out of five, just an average film, average comedy, still lots of laugh out loud moments, I love the movie, and the first line, like the first scene, the very first scene in the movie, made me laugh, and everybody else laughed, um, and I, I'm, I'm just going to spoil it for you already, but um, Cam, uh, Cam Brady's talking with his campaign 
um, advisor just before, like right before um, his, spe his uh, speech, and the um, advisor asks him, like, what is he, what is he going to talk about? And Cam Brady says, God, liberty, and Jesus, or something. And then the uh, campaign advisor asks him uh, what it meant, and then Cam Brady said, shit, I don't know. It's just, you just had to, you have to watch this. Um, just the acting is great, it's hilarious. And, um, see, I, I, I really can't make it funny, you just have to go and see the movie. Uh, good movie, lots of laughs. So the the ending of the movie was kind of cheesy and cliche. Um, you know, there I know I know a lot of people liked this character, but I didn't like her. This Asian maid that talks in a country accent, I I never really liked her at all. I just I felt like they were trying too hard with that uh, character. But so it was a good movie. It, it um lots of laugh out moments. Uh, laugh out loud moments. Um, it's definitely one of those movies that you can see again, and it still has that kind of timeless um, thing to it. Well, I got really bad um, bags under my eyes, but good movie. Three stars out of five. Check it out. Uh, this is The Algon Fart with um, a movie review of, of the campaign. See it in theaters. Good movie. Lots of laughs. I had fun. I had a, I really had fun. Um, rate, comment, subscribe.